how do we, as you would call it, uh, do the inner engineering so that human beings can be more aligned to what I think well-being can be associated with, which is social justice. So yes, we have done much better than our great-grandparents or grandparents, but uh, according to the World Bank, you still have 40% of 7.2 billion people that you refer to living in poverty. Definitely. And one of their missions is to lift that 40% out of what they would call absolute poverty, which I'm sure is an ambition that you would share as well. Uh, definitely. One aspect of uh, my UN uh, engagement is to look at how yoga could assist this uh, sustainable development goals for 2030. Now, it is not that there is no disparity, there is serious disparity, it has to be addressed. But how is the question? If we talk about redistribution of wealth, this will lead to total chaos once again. We have taken to market economy not because we think it's the best thing, but it is the only lousy thing that's worked for us till now. It's quite a lousy thing, if you ask me. But it's the only thing that's worked, unfortunately. So what is working, we should never abandon. We must see how to make it work little better for everybody. It is a subtle arrangement of things because right now in India it keeps happening. We are right now a market economy with the socialist hangover in our minds. When somebody does too well, everybody says, oh, this is not right, look at him how he's making money. No, no, this is the… this is the ugliness of market economy which we have chosen, that somebody now walks around uh, gold-painted head to toe. Well, my aesthetics may make me put my head down, but I should not oppose him because that is the system we have chosen unfortunately. And unfortunately, that is the ugly system which has worked for us to some extent. Other beautiful systems did not work. It did not work because human beings were not ready for it. System may be great, you need yogis running the world. People who have a deep sense of unity about them <laughs> No, when I say yogis, do not imagine that somebody is sitting in a particular posture so he is a yogi. Someone who sees everybody as he would look at himself is a yogi. We need that kind of people to run the system. That is still too utopian. Yet, we're working on the people, we're sitting with you, we're sitting with various leaders around the world, s hoping that little bit of yoga will enter them, so that how they look at the world, how they think and feel changes. It is not a moral thing, it is not an ethical thing. It is just that experientially how you perceive life, if it alters even by ten percent in the leadership, big changes will happen. I must… I must tell you this, when I was at the economic forum, they asked me, Sadhguru, if there's one thing we can do for you that will change the world, what is it? I said, I will name twenty-five people, give them to me for five days you will see in three years there'll be a significant change in the world. They asked, who are these twenty-five people? I named the twenty-five heads of major nations on the planet, which amount to nearly ninety percent of the world's economy, okay? These twenty-five leaders, if they think little differently, everything would change.